No. <sighs> oh, this is where I found the last note, wasn't it? Right. So if I remember correctly, this is where we found the last load of coordinates? Yes, wonderful. So we just keep going from there. This is scary, this is Chris. Oh god, which way do I go? Looks like we're going up then. So Chris, have you heard uh, the pre-release date for Demon Hunters then? I know you're not interested, but I figured you'd want to know. It's in just over a week, it's the 9th. This doesn't seem wise. Covered the first bodies by the pine trees. A makeshift campfire suggested they tried to warm up. The bodies were only in underwear. I decided to thoroughly search the area between the tent and the tree line. I discovered the other bodies every few hundred meters apart. The position indicated the victims attempted to return to the tent as fast as they could. This could mean that the threat was gone and the group decided to go back to the tent or just the opposite. Someone or something appeared from the forest and forced its victims to run. At this point, it is difficult to determine what exactly happened. I have collected small samples from all bodies for further research at the unit's laboratory. I discussed this situation with the rest of the rescue team and afterwards, they focused on the visual inspection of the tent and areas by the trees, and I entered the forest. I could see you. 
Oh god. There's a ski that's broken. Loads of weapons. This was the house with the with the light that we were at earlier. Ah, oh, the more you know. Well, it seems to have been worth the trip. Maybe. I think it's time to go back to the tent, just for now. spooky oh I know right it's horrible it's like Finland survival simulator except there aren't wolves there are zombies man Whoa. not ready where the fuck am I hold on let's have a look it doesn't really tell me where they, where I am really Oh, this is where the house is. Where the fuck's my tent then? I don't even remember the way I came, to be fair. Okay. This is what you see when you go outside for a late night pack of cigs in Sweden, yeah. Definitely, completely correct. It's actually scarier than this though. Oh, I'm saying more messages below, I doubt that. There you go. Oh. You just, you, it's why you just don't go out late at night for a pack of smokes in Sweden. You just don't. You wait till the next day. You stay where it's safe. So basically what I need to do is I need to find some clues to like a load of murders that happened. In a in a in like a Russian mountain or something, and so far you know I've died a few times, but just because loads of weird shits happened. So the thing I'm the thing I'm uncertain with is whether Sean Bean is voicing us. Oh, there's one there. Can't see him though. There he is. 
Terrifying, man. I think it's up here. Seems that way. It isn't like amnesia, it doesn't tell you where to go, so you kind of have to guess. Right, let me just note this down in the chat. Scary. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the house we just came from though. How the fuck have we gone in a big circle? We're lost. Yep, tribal tents, yep. To be fair, I think it's a mixture of a load of different circumstances really. Because they were running away from one thing and then they started running back in the direction of the first thing, so... Oh my fucking god! Oh, Son of a bitch! Oh. Motherfucker! Hiding in the cupboard again. Oh. <laughs> ah, not ready. Not ready. Oh, God. Oh. All right. I'm going back the long way this time. I'm not rushing it, then I can backstab. Yeah, pretty much. That's the way, yeah, that's, pre that's pretty much like the most logical explanation, I'd say. Like, a culmination of different factors coming, coming to a head, really. Because it couldn't be any one of those things, because uh, it doesn't really add up otherwise, does it? Oh. It's like stop it slender, but like Norway is always slender. It just fucks with you for ages. Yeah, radiation as well, yeah. No, we're not. We're not going here. I'm fall off cliffs. Whoa. 